In today's video, we're going to go over one of the options that can be used to import data into Dynamics 365 Business Central. So there's a couple different methods that can be used to accomplish this, and today we're going to look at using a configuration package. A configuration package is really flexible and easy to set up, and it can be used to import into various tables within Business Central. Today we're going to go through an example of importing your beginning general ledger balances. So to show you the window that we're going to be integrating into, this is the general journal window that I'm in here. And you'll notice right now it's empty and if I scroll slightly to the right here, I actually have a field that I'm using to track my department code as one of the dimension fields. And we're going to include that with our import. So we'll be able to import general journal account balances along with their different department amounts. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go to the global search bar at the top here. And then we're going to type in configuration and open up the configuration packages window. Okay, so then what we'll do is we'll click new up here so that you can see the full process of creating a new configuration package. And I'll just name this one GL entries. So I'm going to fill in some of the basic information in the header here. I know my language ID is 1033 for English, or I could use the drop down if I wanted to. And now I just need to tell the configuration package which table ID I want to use. So I can do a look up here and you'll see that there's several different tables that we can import data into. If I know the table ID, I can type it in. Otherwise, I could use this search at the top here. So I could search for different uh, general journal lines and I could search for different accounts if I wanted as an example. Um, you could also import into vendors and just various tables within the system. In this case, I want to go into table 81, which I already have as my general journal line window. So I just typed in 81 and then I'm going to tab out of this line and then it'll prompt me here. And it'll ask me if I want to include related tables. So I'll answer yes to include them. And the easiest way to modify the actual fields that you want to import is to close here. And then you'll notice down here it shows you the number of fields that are available is 194. Most likely you won't need to import into all those fields. So what you could do is you could actually click the link here for number of fields available. And then you can clear everything out and this way you can just mark the ones that you actually want to include. So I'm going to clear include it up here. And now I'm going to tell the system which ones I actually want to import. So first I'll click edit list so that everything becomes editable. And then I'll mark the fields that I want. So in this example, I'm just going to include some of the basic fields that would be used on a general journal. So I'm going to include my account number and type, my document number and description. And then I'll also want to include amount. And just so you can see the different fields out there, I'll include debit amount and credit amount as well. And then if I scroll down a little bit more, we'll see that we also have the field down here for dimensions. I almost passed it up. Okay, shortcut dimension field one. So this would be our department. Since we want to include our dimension in here as well, I'll make sure that I mark that field. So now I have all the different fields that I want to include in this particular import. So I can exit out of here and then I can go to package, export to Excel and answer yes here. And open up that Excel file. And I'll just bring this over to the screen so you could see it. So basically it created the fields that we wanted into an Excel template. And I have some sample data that I prepared that I'm going to paste into here as an example. So I have in this example, a couple different account numbers in this column here. And then I have the amounts and then I have the debit and the credit. 
And then I've also included some dimensions here so that each line will get booked to a different dimension. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to save this file that I just created. You could save that anywhere and then you'll just need to reference it in a moment. Okay, so I saved and closed my Excel file. So you'll wanna get your Excel file ready where you have all of your entries for your opening balances in there. And then I'll basically go to the same location. I'll go to package, except now I'll choose import from Excel. And then I'll just browse out to the location that I just saved my file at. And then it just verifies that I want to import this configuration package. So I'll select import. And now what I can do is if I click under the number of package records here, so you'll notice in this column, it's now filled in with four. So it has the four lines from my Excel sheet. So I can click this link and I can now see exactly what I saw in my Excel sheet has been imported here. What I can do at this point is I could check for errors. I could also use the process data if I have any, anything that I wanna actually, any logic that I want built in before I run the actual import, if I need to convert a field with decimals or some sort of format. Um, but what I'll do is I'm, and, and I can also select which ones I want so I don't have to choose all of these records. But I'm going to select all. I'm going to click here and select more. I'm going to mark all four of my records and just click show error to make sure that there's no data migration errors. So it looks like I'm good there. So now I'm going to choose apply data. So it was able to successfully import all of those lines. You'll notice that they're no longer listed here. So now I can close out of here. And if I go back to my general journal page and I open up my journal entry here, you'll see that it now imported the data exactly as we had it in our Excel sheet it has now been imported with our account numbers here. Um, here's our department codes for a dimension. And then we have our amounts in here as well. So at this point, uh, this entry could be modified or it could be posted. So I highly recommend using the configuration packages. It's a great tool to import data easily um, anywhere within Business Central.